everybody. Welcome to Rebel Junk. My name is Erin. Today's unloved and unwanted junk comes to us from a huge rummage sale that was just a couple towns over at a church. They were having a fundraiser and they had tons and tons of items and they just asked you to make a donation for the things that you picked out. So let me show you what the sale looked like overall and then I'll show you what I actually picked out to bring home to resell. Some things are going to be for the house but most of it's for resell and I tried to go through it as quickly as I could so the video wasn't too long but it's going to end up being two part and it is fast and furious. I did add comps on the screen and then there's a lightning round at the end. <laughs> Anyhow I hope you enjoy this. I just got back from the huge rummage sale. That was a fundraiser, a couple towns over. I think the best way for me to do this is to just kind of go over everything. As I take, I'm gonna start with these little guys here. So it's a string of Christmas lights, no man on it. I did test them to make sure they work. There's so another one of the pay what you think it's worth kind of shops. And so I was really just filling my bag. I'm gonna keep this one. Hallmark ornament. Okay, so I grabbed some napkins, a little vintage new orange grace line. These ones are hard. My daughter made me get this sweater, even though it wasn't a name brand that I could find. She says if I put it on Depop, somebody would buy it. But I don't have a Depop account, so I'll have to try Poshmark. See how that goes. Really good condition. The fabric feels nice. Great colors. So there's brand new with tags. Hanes for way with Felicia Rashad on the tag. This is a I think it was a king size Martha Stewart blanket with the tag still on it. But this I think we're just gonna use at home. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for all this, which is probably not a good thing. This is a Columbia hat. I have to double check, but I think it is Omni Shade. So you guys know I love selling wallets, so there's another one I grabbed. This is a Buxton small purse organizer, almost wallet like. These feel like leather. Still have the tags on them. Soapable leather. It's, uh, I did find this little case. It's a wicker zippered bag. I think there were two. So this one is Anne Klein. Two made in USA polyester, really neat look though. Let's see that this is kilt maker Inverness Scotland made in Great Britain. Hat with pom pom on it. I thought it was cute. I got these for my daughter. I don't recommend picking up cat's meow. However, these are kind of all the little accessories. The little black cat on there, that's the cat's meow. So I did pick these up. Um, this is our hometown. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed this Halloween special edition one. Shipwreck Point Lighthouse Limited Edition. Halloween 2000. So I got these three little books. There's no marks on them. They're really nice me. It's full of rocks. This one looks, doesn't look like it's been worn. Looks like that's the pants. This is a different brand, but it's triple XL. And so is that. Called Polar Notions. And they're small fabric wrappers. Gift boxes in case I need to send one with anything that anybody orders here in Q4. I couldn't find out anything about this artist. M. Shulock. And it's $19.89. Looks like a watercolor. A little vintage, really super lightweight and plastic saint picture. This was just too cute to pass up. It's a teeny tiny little picture of Chive. Heartfelt collection. 
this is a little rubberized precious moments picture frame which is really cute still on the package torian calendar prints this one is marked this is just a reproduction but i have a stack of them up on my walls so i grabbed that one this is also for me this is a barb starner and i don't know if it's a print or original if it is it looks like it's about a hundred dollar painting but i think it's a print this one i just threw in the bag it was really cute it is an ornament has a string at the top i picked up two of these franciscan earthenware bowls and a serving platter this is anarcho just a little, I don't know if it's a candle holder or miniature, I'm not sure, but I grabbed it. Kalmar Pewter from Norway, so hopefully that's focusing. Um, it's a tall, slender pitcher. And this is just a little lamp for me. So I found this Fizzini Hamilton Beach. It looked like everything was in there when I opened it. I think it is for oil and bread dipping plates. Style Eyes, Brown Brothers, Fresco, anyhow, they were just too cute, so I picked up that set. This looked clean on the inside. This is William Sonoma Bar Tools two-piece champagne set. I think it's new. Okay, you guys, so I really like picking up smalls to go through and show them. I may do a voiceover if it doesn't come up on the screen. Guys, miniature cell, and it's just a little basket, but... I'll probably list it for $10. Ceiling wax kit from Hallmark, letter M. I have no idea what this is, but it was too cool. I couldn't pass it up. Nautilus Mini. Vintage safety with glasses. This is um, Spoon, Spooniques, 1984. Just so cool and cute. I haven't looked this one up. This is teeny tiny little perfume. I grabbed this. I mean, it's almost empty, and I know they still sell it. I don't know when this bottle dates from, but I, I believe this is uranium glass. There's Ohio State Fair on it. I'll have to get a black light on that. There are two of these. So Pier 1 Imports Lamp Finial. If anybody recognizes that, let me know. But this triangle pottery vase is pretty cool. Creamer. I guess it's cold in, but anyhow, the price tag is in... Looks like British pounds, maybe. Grab this Rand McNally Distamap automatic mileage dialer for major cities. See how that does. Christmas ornament. Tissue box cover. I just thought that was so cool. This is really heavy, guys. So it's this brass made in Korea picture. I grabbed two of these coasters with butterflies and lace in them. Those are cool. Probably made out of bamboo, I think. Two little silverish jewelry boxes. There's a big one. And there's a little one. Stainless steel Japan butter dish has a glass insert. This gold pattern, I'm not sure what it is. Looks like bamboo. But I got the sugar and creamer. I don't know if that, I think that's Fenton or Fostoria glass. I'm not sure. And yeah, these little metal work angels i think they're just candle holders this little glass drop from tiffin glass okay so this says jerusalem on it it's pretty heavy a little brass plaque even with the uh hollowed out back it still has a good amount of weight to it this is just too cute a little cross stitch a new picture frame like this little pineapple brass candlestick lamp I grabbed this without checking comps. Mushroom print from Pirates. So just in table tray, mirror. That was pretty. It's a good good condition. I'm not sure how well this will do, but it is a sassy real hair extensions. Um and, oh, another perfume that I picked up. Weight watchers, points plus calculator, peony rose bath fizzies. And also a Crabtree and Evelyn rose soap a box full of mini perfumes. A Yardley English rose soap, which by the way, I just smelled that. I might have to keep it. Um, another cute little trinket box. Well, this is kind of an everything kit. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. It's still in the package, stretch out strip. Afterglow bottle wicks, so I'm assuming that's for a wine bottle. 
think this is for slippers, but it's beer Bradley and it was in good shape, so I grabbed it. Oh no, curly iron cover. Chulo cools your pillow. So I grabbed this trim. It looks like it's on a vintage wrapper, but I don't know how vintage the trim is. It's pretty, so I might end up keeping that. This is definitely for us at home. 3D cookie cutters. Got three packages of Create Your Own Invitations from Ampad. They look like they had pretty good comps. Picked up some Tommy Hilfiger shoes that have some wear on the inside, but the bottoms don't show any. Huge supply of vintage hosiery. So, pro leather from Relic, but it was in really good condition. My mom actually passed this up. She didn't realize that it is indeed a vintage real coach leather bag. So, I'm pretty excited about that. I have to have a talk with her. Maybe a few lessons on purses. This is Relic also. I got this little beauty purse. Grabbed this one from SB. Again, not leather, but converts to a backpack. I'm gonna ask my daughter if she wants that. Okay, here is the bigger bag of the woven pieces. Looks more like makeup bag size or even a clutch. I did grab a teeny tiny little pair of Capizio tap shoes. And a leather belt, that's what the tooling looks like. Very functional snap, which is nice. 